There is one British aircraft that's unique design and distinctive roar holds a special place in the nation's heart. It played a pivotal role in defending us during the Battle of Britain. When I was first learning to be a pilot, I used to think of that epic battle in the sky and the brave, daring pilots who flew what was an incredible feat of British engineering, the Spitfire. At the height of the battle, hundreds of Spitfires faced up against the might of the German Luftwaffe. Hitler's forces had already overrun France, and their next target was Britain. They launched a terrifying bombing campaign. Looking down towards London, the planes were absolutely phenomenal. The Spitfire would prove invaluable in crushing the attacks. The Spitfire was cutting edge. It gave them the confidence to, to win the fight. I've come to Goodwood Aerodrome in West Sussex to meet fellow pilot and Spitfire expert Matt Jones. The Spitfire played a huge part in the Battle of Britain. It's what the, the young men who were coming through wanted to get their hands on, wanted to fly. It gave them the power and the manoeuvrability that they wanted and they needed. One of those young men was Alan Frost. I imagine there was a lot of fear, but was there also excitement? There was excitement, but I was scared. I was only 20. Was it quite an intimidating aircraft? No, when I got into it, it becomes part of you. If you sneeze, it sneezes. Let's face it, a wonderful aeroplane. And quite frankly, nothing can beat the Spitfire. Key to the Spitfire's success was its tremendously powerful engine. So the Merlin, it was very powerful, but also very reliable. It gave the aircraft as an interceptor the ability to climb very quickly and therefore to have a chance with the Nazi fighters. The Spitfire's other great asset was its maneuverability, thanks to its famous elliptical wings. This wing meant it could climb very quickly, but when it got up there, it was still as agile, if not more agile, than the enemy fighters. This agility and power allowed the Spitfire to successfully fend off wave after wave of air attack from the much larger German Air Force. After months of fierce warfare, the Battle of Britain was won by the British and laid the foundation for the defeat of Nazi Germany. So what are these iconic British fighters like to fly? Well, today I'm getting a chance to fulfill a boyhood dream. I'm getting to fly one. It's a real bucket list day today. I can't quite believe that I'm gonna to get to fly this. So what advice does Alan have for me? Don't forget to close the hood on takeoff. Right. You could get sucked out. <laughs> I beg your pardon. With Alan's advice ringing in my ears, it's time to get ready. Alongside Alan, my dad has come to see me off on my maiden flight. Spitfires have been his passion his whole life. Be careful with your buttons, you press. I know you and buttons. Good luck, our son. With the final checks complete, it's time to go. Matt will be the main pilot in this dual control Spitfire, but he's also letting me have a go. Right, Tim. Now it's your turn. Are they right? Beautiful. I mean, there's one thing to learn how to fly an aircraft, but to be able to fly something like this and close with enemy fighters is unbelievable. What an experience. I couldn't stop grinning. And I have a newfound respect for anybody who flew this aircraft. I mean, it's beautiful. 